How important of a figure was Tom Bradley? Very important. What did he do? He kept the neighborhood informed on what you should do and what you shouldn't do. And if you do this, you're going to jail. And if you do this, you won't go to jail. You know. And he kept the boys together. And he kept the social clubs together. As a beat officer, he was involved officer. in the community. Oh, yeah. Well, he's part of the community. You know, he lived he, in the community. He knew everybody in the community. Yeah, he lived, knew everybody in the community. Mm -hmm. He knew the good guys and the bad guys in the community. Mm -hmm. And he got to keep the bad guys from going to, you know, the jail. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And the boys, we did whatever he wanted us to do. So he was, uh, he was looked up to. Oh, sure. Were there any other cops like Tom Bradley? Or just, he stands out? He stands out for his community involvement. Other cops did other things. So he was he was a public servant in a bigger way, even mm. as a police even officer. Even as a police officer. Not like he this was a plan to become mayor, but he had those qualities, I guess. He he was one of the boys in the neighborhood. And he actually wanted to do right. good things for yeah. the neighborhood, yeah. for the people. You know, there's an old, old story about Tom, and it could be true. Mm -hmm. He never had bullets in his gun for 20 years. He never never put a bullet in his gun. We looked up to him because he was a track star in high school. Oh, okay. You know, he was one of the track stars at high school. And he went to? Poly High School. L.A. Poly High School, which is now Trey Tech. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. It used to be Poly High School. In that location? The same location, mm. yeah. Mm -hmm. And then he went to UCLA, and he was a track star out there, too. You know, before he graduated and joined LAPD. So everybody knew Tom Brown. Oh, everybody knew Tom. Tom oh. He was one of the kids in neighborhoods. You know, Tom and, and Billy Mills and all, all these guys. were. We lived so close together, you couldn't miss them. Mm -hmm. At the time, as part of... As part of requirements in LAPD, you had to live in the city. Right. Mm -hmm. You know, so the black guys just never moved out of their house, out of their mother's house and stuff. So everybody lived right there. Okay. You know, even, even Tom and Ralph Bunch and everybody lived in the same, I think Tom Bradley lived three blocks from Ralph Bunch oh. and two blocks from Billy Mills. And so everybody was right there together. So we're going back to you said they was you, people were smarter than their counterparts in the South, and they so you're kind of saying that everybody learned how to play the game all together. All together. But it, was there any white sponsorship? Did any? Yeah. They helped you or yeah, pass that? Of course, you, you know? can't play the game unless you have you you have uh, some allies. Who were some of those allies? Um. Some of those allies were business people. Mm -hmm. Some of the allies were Hollywood, mm -hmm. movie stars, okay. so-called movie stars that came from my area. You know, um, we, had, we had a lot of help. We didn't do this by ourselves. We had, we had a lot of help. Mm -hmm.